All right, 300 TV up against Orcs with two Claw. That's not bad, is it? But would be a lot better with Mighty Blue. He's level 15 coach. He's got two throwers. So he could well be, in 12 players, he could well be a beginner. One, two, lost one. Did the one that he win, was that a concession? No, it wasn't. He beat, he beat Chops. He won via concession. Only one out of his three ended in concession. There you go. <laughs> Super bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to hear. The previous match was, well, the previous actual match was Norse and it was a loss. But then got matched against um, High Elves and he just didn't play. Which arrow you don't blame him for? You just can't have progression, you just can't have... <laughs> maybe, but it wasn't, maybe. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose to him because he's got two old throws. Varag's pretty good. Right, receive, because he doesn't have a wizard. I tried to receive against the Norse. That was the worst thing, that I tried to receive against the fucking Norse. And, uh, didn't. Whether it was a bug or a misclick, I don't know, but um, felt bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, John Chase. Oh, man. Yeah, humans, they just get two hands and pass, don't they, for 20k, so it's it's fine taking throws of humans, but losing the armor, if they were armor 9, they'd still be a bit shit, because they'd still be in movement 5. Well, at least you wouldn't be losing anything. You'd just be gaining skill, two skills for 20k. And it wouldn't matter that you'd rarely use the pass. It would be essentially a free skill. And you'd be getting a lineman with sure hands, and it would be alright, wouldn't it? But it's just, it's just, they're just bad. Well, and plus they take away points from your, from your blitzers, don't they? But there is a time and a place which is short times and shit. Oh god, put the guard in the middle. Glorious. I guess it could go sideways, couldn't I? Can't really get additional hits though. Where I don't have um, don't have tackles to put in there, despite his name of. Ghoul Chewer, he's not actually very good at dealing with ghouls, is he?
Hulk and roll. Sorry, I have to bear with me as I uh, as I buy my Crusaders here. <laughs> right, what what's doing? What's crack a lacking? <laughs> Claw blocks. I don't really want a mighty blow him, but I mean, I guess he might not break his arm. Need to be able to react with a guard. <laughs> oh, That's brilliant. Yeah, Claw doing nothing. Again. Yeah, he's really he plays really good defense, doesn't he? Um, and yeah, he, he doesn't make mistakes unless they're intentional, like his rando passes to skill players up in tight games, like in playoff games, man. I'm still salty that he did that against me. Like that would never work well, like like it didn't with this team, you know? Two GFIs, just two plus rolls. Never mind, double two, two plus rolls that I only made because I had a reroll. And he just did them, just just put it out there. Madness. Hello, GSC Hunter. Strength or block is a tough choice. Yeah, I guess you. I guess that is a way to get better on defense. Yeah. That's true. He gets more. He gets more practice, doesn't he, than the average bear. Okay. Claw has a block. Claw has a GFI blitz. Oh, he's he's based everybody.
Hey, Claude did something. Better than getting punched by a Varag, I thought, if I got a push, but... Still getting punched by a Varag. Seven two one. It's a sad indictment of the of, <laughs> of the Blood Bowl two player base that seven two one is considered shit. <laughs> but there you go. I'd be pretty fucking happy about seven two one on Fumbo. <laughs> Be like this is going great <laughs> because I'd just be playing for like fun, wouldn't I? That's the thing. That's the thing. This horrible, the prizes make it so much worse, and the the thing of having to grind them out over a six week period. It's it's just all wrong. It's just all bad, bad and wrong, bad on. I don't play don't play rank though fudge nipples so I was I was of course only talking about um <laughs> black box and when I when I did play a rank one time with the with the brutal cherry pickers I went on something like a 30 win streak because you know why not Yeah, the pick me out of purple chest. <laughs> Holy shit. That was like my, my fumble version of the touchdown fouling team. It's the joke team to draw attention to the fact how fucked rank was. But it didn't really work out because I played claw pommers in, in the finals of all the tournaments that I went to. No safe moves, okay. Do safe moves first. Jesus Christ. If I must, I'll do safe moves first. That's just a two, isn't it? Straight up.
of keeps him boxing a bit, doesn't it, next to the claw guy? Could be okay. Seeing as Flash is here, I'll make safe moves first. All right, setting up, setting up um, Varag to be clawed. I'm not sure about how wise that is. <laughs> All the claw in it. <laughs> it's a shitter, shitter hob that gets the first day of Libra. All right, safe moves ish at some point. Just, just grinds my gears, you know. Just grinds my gears. Give up, Varag. Fail. Pretty dangerous, isn't it? I should have gone here. My ability is. I'm finding it very hard to care at all about this game now. Much more interesting in Crusade of the Lost Idols. And this is the problem, isn't it? With having to play at the start of the season. The last thing I want to do at this moment in time is play Blood Bowl. But I have to play Blood Bowl because it's prudent to do so. I'd much rather be playing some cross out or just, you know, jabbing myself in the eye with a knitting needle, maybe. But, uh,. Here I am playing Blood Bowl. Mm. 
Yeah, I could have said. But I wanted to hit. I don't like this point. And if I'd gone that way, if I'd if I'd gone for the server, I'd move everyone over here. I just can't be bothered. Ripper's way better than Varag, I think. I think Ripper is way better. So there you go, just quietly. But then Varag's great when when you just let your opponent two dice him and then they re-roll the second two dice on him and then you, you still don't knock him over. He's pretty good, isn't he? But <sighs> Gotta move forward at some point, I don't know. And to be fair, his, his jump up makes it a bit tricky. Yeah, maybe that should have done. It's just that, you know, Varag's the only chance he's got to win. So, yeah, being a man up would be good. Win more championships by storm. Not just for stalling, but just at least scoring when it's safe rather than playing the way it does. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? He'll force a score a turn early rolling dice or try to school somebody up and roll more dice than he has to do. And he did it in the playoffs. You know, he did it against Inari, uh, against Oriolensis. He did it against me. Um, just rolling dice he doesn't need to roll just for the sake of skilling people up or score, scoring early than he needs to just to make sure he gets an early touchdown. And stuff, which I think he could play it a lot better. I think it's definitely the passing is what bothers me. I can't blitz because if I blitz I'll want one in nine. A dodge. No, how this is going to turn out. Fail into into death apple fail. Classic push. In that case, there's no dodge. Then he could 2D. Then he could 2D. He could go there, then he could 2D, then he could 2D. Seems the best, doesn't it? Oh, get to fuck. Alright, two stuns there is pretty good, isn't it?
Well, it didn't poach Cookie. I don't know if you watched the playoffs. <laughs> but it did not work for him at all versus the good coaches in the playoffs. It did not work for him at all. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, yeah, Fash, because I wanted to claw. I wanted to claw. I wanted the 75% knockdown on the strength 4 guy. And for that, I gave up. Because the fact that I had still had 55% with the uh, with the hob, you know, with him having block. If the hob didn't have block, Greed or, is good. or if the, Greed if the right. guy had had block, he was over here. I've got to start moving, haven't I? <sighs> Fucking push from the blitz, but... It's amazing how it's like people's only, only strap. If you can call it that. Yeah, it's, it's only his offensive play, you know? Like, <laughs> that's bad. His defense against me was great. I had to use the wizard to score. He had a few one dice as well. Not that I could really stop him. I mean, a chip, a chimp could have fucking had one dice on me when you've got an edge five guy with blodge and fucking leap. Um, <laughs> but he did play pretty good defense. Um, but... You know, it is what it is. I'm going to have to blitz here, aren't I, just to make sure I get away. Right. Guard, stand up, block, pow him, pow him. Run over here. Somewhere. Need to be a power this, though. Finally. And this also needs to be a power. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Oh, great. Not so lucky there. Right, I've learnt my lesson now, no GFI. You can just 2D him and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. It's a minus 2D going up, so. Yeah, Claw is a bit shit to be fair. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's still good. It's still better than Mighty Blow against Orcs, isn't it? Um,
This is what happens when I um when I leave Armour 9 players base. When other people leave Norse based. Recipe. 94% failed. What a bastard. What a bastard. It's funny how failing a 94% mission in uh, Crusaders of Osiris feels really unlucky, but just standard in Blood Bowl. Of course they did fast. Of course they did. They just based us every turn. Gave a million blocks away. Nothing. And then their one dice is probably devastating. Because of course they were. Hawks with block and plus one movement. <laughs> they weren't even Hawks, they were fucking tree men. <laughs> they were fucking 63310 block for 50k. That's a pretty good player, just quietly. That's like, that's how he played them as well. Like, that's the fucking craziest thing. Like,. You know, you shouldn't play Norse like that, should you? You just shouldn't. You shouldn't be giving away a billion fucking blocks with them. I've got a power here, haven't I? I'll just get a push. Can I chain out? He goes in there, he goes in there. He, But then he'd have to dodge, but then he could power him to there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And that takes up everybody to do. Seems a lot of effort to just stop, you know, just to not roll a power. Could just roll a power, couldn't I? I've seen... Um, I've seen people roll pals, I know it's possible. If I power him, then I'm home free as well. So I reckon I just go all in. All in, and just rolling a pal. Huh. Of course not. Two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Should GFI are there so he's got to make a four plus dodge? Or maybe not. Maybe I should have dodged and put him there or something. Not blocking with Barag feels amazing. I was my blood doing that somewhere. Orc throw it for the win. Yeah, I probably should have done. But if I fail it, I've got to re-roll it. And it just leaves 
you know, it, it leaves the Black Hawk then, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, double GFI. It just, just lets him in. Or even not. One, two, three, four, double GFI blitz. So if I'd failed it, I'd just give up 2D, don't I? That's the thing. But I mean, I guess it was the same with a 1D block. <laughs> but I had the chance of powering him. That was a thing. I had the chance of powering him and then uh, I'm basing the uh, throw as well. Probably shouldn't have even made the 1D block. Well, that's what I was thinking, you know, if it's a pow or even a push, it's base and throw as well. I don't know why I went wrong there, I could have been here for me. I was thinking of making the GFI, so you'd have to do a focus dodge. Yeah, if it, if I made him do a four plus dodge, you would have failed it. So I probably should have made the GFI. All right, good, he failed with all the skull. All right, good. Been pretty pretty lucky there. Been pretty lucky. Well, provided I don't roll the one on the GFI, I've been pretty lucky to get a touchdown out of this, I think. Oh my god, more luck. Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's taken one kill from repeatedly getting his fucking guys smashed by claw. Morlock! What the fuck? There you go. one hobgoblin. So it got out bashed as you would expect with two claw. Was in a massive TV advantage and somebody who made zero block with Varagulchua. God knows how many blocks I've made with Claw this game. Yeah, they, they were drawn against a high elf player who just didn't play. He just conceded before. Conceded before he moved anybody. Wow, the difference between having having Natalie Dragon is 215 damage or 35. <laughs> Pretty big. And obviously the gold difference is um, 20 times as much gold and 6 times as much damage. 7 times as much damage.
Don't even think about sniping me with Norse. If you snipe me with Norse, I will literally fly to Australia, track you down, and punch you in the face. Skinks, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's true actually, yeah, that's true. It's just uh just as a <laughs> This was just banter. Let me clarify. <laughs> that wasn't actually a threat. It was just banter between me and my friend Flashbinder who agrees with me. <laughs> But my official statement on the matter is, I'd really rather you didn't snipe me with an horse. <laughs> Flash's comment on Reddit though, holy shit. That was the highlight. That was the highlight of the whole thing. Fucking hell. Did you die? <laughs> if not, what happened as a result of his words? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's coming in cross out. Holy shit. Seven one seven HP with four cord monster immune to flipping and with front wheels protection barrel under cabin nineteen ninety six PS. Get wise if you do damage in the get wise mission. No. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. Alright. Let's see if if defensive setup one is being changed on it's still fucked. Yeah, it's still fucked. Yeah, my guard guy's dead. Well, not dead. Maybe I should do this. Exactly, a hope and a wish is not a threat. Exactly, it's so silly, isn't it? How they, how I've all, often thought that they've said on like the news and that about death threats, and I'm like, well, that's not a threat, is it? It's just really not a threat. A threat would be Liam Neeson in Taken, not just some goober on the internet saying, "I hope you die." <laughs> like, <laughs> this is fucking stupid, isn't it?
Let's have a look. Let's go just be wet. What the is that? Well, how does that even happen? He gives up a two dice block, I get a boat down, he one dices me back, and fucking Kaz is my best player. Jesus, I'm gonna find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. What the fuck is that? Well, how does that even happen? He gives up a two dice block, I get a block down, he one dices me back. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, wow, he failed something. <laughs> How dare he ever fail something as a, as a guy without block. Put guard in there and a guy there and blitz him. Make a blots. It's out of the way though, isn't it? I guess if this is just a push, using the blitz on him seems like a good idea. Oh, I could follow and then I'll put the guard in there and just block him. And then blitz him. I'd rather hit a black hole just because more chance of knockdown, isn't there? Balls. Doing things. as well, that's pretty good. Makes this side a little bit weak, I guess. But <laughs> Most coaches beware, that's a great title. <laughs> Well, he used his blitz, I guess. I knew the one's going to get a free hit, isn't he? People giving up hits on armor seven. Don't understand it. <laughs> right. Claw him. Finally. 
finally, the consistent hit on Armour 7 finally pay off in a double score. Could base the ball here. <laughs> Bit of a way I could have done safe moves first, but I want to see what happens. Um, I can't base the ball, eh? That's what happened. And got a bolt down. the ball. This would be really good place to stand, wouldn't it? Well, the path for me might get hit by a Varag. And then block this and then go for the pickup and attack as well. Maybe play it play it safer. And by safer. I mean riskier but with a shithead. I know I don't flash. You fall over one in thirty six times, or one in six with the other guy. It happens that he either fought over one in thirty six times or one in six times.
<laughs> yeah, that's that's the that's that's the one VFP code. Huh. <laughs> I like <to> peasants. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay, she, it's got dodge. Oh, I said she's got dodge. I always think of my hobgoblins as females after my claw mighty blow thing. <laughs> sea of Thieves. I'll Google it. Well, I think it's going to be shit. I'm not going to play it. Five minutes of gameplay demo. Yeah, so this. Hey, shut up, Goober. Oh, I've got bolts. Ah, oh, looks pretty shit. Probably won't play it fast because it looks pretty shit. How did he? How did he fucking do that? Right, he can break tackle and get him. Could just run through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and get him. But don't have block. could only 1D him, couldn't I? And then it'd be a GFI to 2D without block. I'd rather do it with him. And then the show hands is there for the recovery, isn't he? Surprising. I got a one D then. I guess he can take a hit now, can't he? Then he can block him, can't he? That seems worth it. Roll some dice, I'll read. <laughs> that was the thing, staying just means this, but I mean, following would have done exactly the same. Didn't really make any difference, but I was thinking following 
would mean you'd have to go in here, which would make a bit of space for stuff. So a bit of space. At least I got in the right spot this time, so it would have to be a 4 plus dodge. I don't know, I haven't opened my chest yet, I've got a chest. Uh, fucking dual chest. Let's have it. Alien inversion, chest number one. An expensive sharp suit. A nicked razor. Uncommon and rare. Is he going to base the ball? No, he's not even there. Alright, safe moves first. Outrageous.
Game Boy Color. <laughs> That's pretty good. Game Boy Color. Farming simulator, oh man. Oh man, I might get it. I might actually get it. Oh, safe moves first. Not as much strength for anyone. Anyway. <laughs> Democracy. Africa. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I love the uh, the hobgoblin boot. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like how every time I'm not completely fucked by luck. Still got a guy miss next game. But every time I'm not completely fucked, my opponents are like, Why the luckiest guy in the world? Ignoring threat now. It's just relaxing. It's it's like the clicker game playing a game without playing. Not like Euro Trucks in the world. Either. I don't understand the appeal of of Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> I still don't. And <laughs> it's, it's probably my favourite game. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand the appeal. So there you go. I guess it's easy. I guess it's the, it's the thing. Easy and relaxing. Rather than just torturous like Blood Bowl. I guess Blood Bowl's so frustrating because it should be easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess that's the thing with Blood Bowl, right? It should be easy. just to get a 2D on Vare. I guess that's as much as a Hobgoblin can hope for, isn't it? It's just funny after someone's fucking crying about their luck. Yeah. That's the thing. He's like, holy shit, you broke armor 7. I can't believe that you made two Kazigans down to 7. And then he makes a Kazigans down to 7, he probably thinks. You know, he should have made a hundred of them in the game. I won't block on him, to be fair, so, so we can keep it for now. It's amazing. Holy shit. Oh look, his armor eight. Armor eight got him knocked out. Unbelievable. Who would have thought going for the going for the weakest player on the team was was an idea? Look, 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 look. Yeah.
Minus 2D him, eh? Why not? Ah, oh, shit. You fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, no, right. It's almost as if his strategy was based the base as many. I didn't fail every roll this game, so I won. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's almost as if giving up loads of block against Claw isn't a good idea. <laughs> no armor nine. <laughs> Yeah, got to correct the spelling. I guess he doesn't know how claw works. So most of the blocks have been against armors, but no, I made it. To be fair, I've broken a lot of armor nine as well. Just Randor, but the probably the armor seven probably hasn't broken as much as it should have done, but the armor nine's probably broken more than it should. Have, to be fair. I'm looking. <laughs> Check. Thrower. Armor. Armor. Reed. Claw. Apologize for being wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, <brilliant>. Okay. <laughs> 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 He can't stay fantastic. He needs to start being fantastic. Alternatively, just fucking base the ball again. <laughs> oh my god. Four with armor nine and one with armor eight. Okay. <laughs> Fun until it's not fun. <laughs> I'm never wrong. What does Claw do? What what your wife do? Um, he blitzes him, which pushes. What am I even doing here? He blocks him, which pushes him out. Worst comes to worst, I just blitz again. I just make a blitz. And hope for a pow. I mean, that's really unlikely, isn't it? The pow there. Sorry for me, England. Alright. Fucking frog. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fucking wonder, eh? Don't even know what's happening here. That doesn't even work, does it? Fuck it. There's no blocker that could blitz. Well, he could, but it'd be a one dice. Yeah, I kind of got the feeling I had an extra player. Um, one dice him to there, but then there's still no assist there. 
because this this last guy had to go in magical place. Just roll a pal. Nearly. Should have just blocked, I guess. I didn't need to dodge, did I? Look a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did obviously deserve to be punished there. That was absolutely terrible. Just, just fucking loudly. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Had some decent luck in this game. Yeah, there wasn't anything to lose really, was there? Apart from his life. Maybe I should have tried a hand off to this rookie ball. Maybe that's what I should have done. The rookie ball's a bit shit, isn't it? It'd be nice to have a block on him. Three looks, I think it was. Sorry for me, England, but Ave... I can't read it. Mean. Look, look, look. <laughs> frog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for me, Frog, I should write. <laughs> <laughs> right, frog, frog, frog. Find me YouTube frog Yeah, and then you could see what happens with Outclaw. That's a good point. That's a good point. Look what happens against people. <laughs> I should say. Oh, do you know what I should say? That's not even spelt right, is it? Not even spelt right. Didn't even spell it right. T O U T, isn't it? Mange 2, Rodney. Mange 2. <laughs> Admit that you got lucky. No. <laughs> yeah, never talking shit. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should just <laughs> say to everyone get fucked in here until eventually, um. <laughs> Until, until I just get perma banned, then I can just happily not play Blood Bowl. Can save my sanity. Wow, AV9 and you. And then he's going to be like, he's armor seven. <laughs> and then I'll be like, <laughs> the same as your AV now when you get hit by a claw, funnily enough. <laughs> frog, frog, frog. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? It's good being British with frogs and crabs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that's true, so I'm glad you're 
Cookie's an example to us all, isn't he? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Double GFI, knock him down, then foul him with some assists. I'll do it with him then, I don't care if he dies. But less chance to get the knockdown. <laughs> because that's what French people are if you're English. Frogs. Nothing personal. It's just, it's just English. BMing with a with a timer down, eh? What a great guy. Lovely chap, and what an enjoyable game this has been. Eh? <laughs> Garlic eating surrender monkeys, yeah, but in in day to day, it's just frog. Aussies are just Aussies. <laughs> yeah, Germans are crowds, yeah. They call us island monkeys. Uh, the Germans call call the British island monkeys. Pretty racist, isn't it? Just quietly. Oh yeah, cheese eating surrender. Oh garlic, whatever. Garlic cheese. It's all crowding it. Garlic selling. <laughs> yeah, cheese eating surrender monkeys. Yeah, that's the right. That's the right. One. <laughs> Got a completion on him, so now he's a touchdown away from block. That's pretty good. I often feel like that doesn't re-roll. Oh, MVP for the uh, the claw guy, just in case he doesn't understand. <laughs> it's being pointed out to him by the MVP. He did more blocks, to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players. So I have to buy another one. So there you go. So I touch down on him for block. That's going to be really helpful. Kaz for him for a skill. MVP for a skill. Touchdown for a skill. If I mean, if I can, if I can farm one on him, I will. Obviously, he would like more stuff. Records. The records really disappointing. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that that's like? Yeah, there's been a massive meltdown in the fucking last game against the Norse. 
But, I mean, it's funny that this should be a happy record, but it's just shit. Like, it's the sad state of affairs, isn't it? It is a sad state of affairs, I think, with a grind, but there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.